<laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, right, Susie, welcome. We're going to do the uh, 2015 Bowman Draft Hobby. Six box, uh, half case, number 13, eBay style, right now. Come on over this way. I think. Hey, well, okay, close enough. Close enough. So. Good old Bowman Draft 2015. It ain't Asia version, but you know what is. Except for Asia version. I think you can still buy that with uh, like lacking uh, guarantees. Stupid expensive. Well, brave words. The last time I bought it, they they had like one case of it left, and I was desperate for some stuff to be on eBay. I'll check again. I mean, sometimes their their stock changes occasionally, so I'll I'll look and see. I like it in the store. I mean, in the store it felt like it was a like, good price, like. Decent value for the teams that you that you're uh, that you're looking for. And I mean decent decent draft class too. I mean some of these guys are gonna be coming to their own probably this next year. You know, if they haven't already kinda kinda started to get there. So it's a good year. But I, I will do what I can to get it in there for you, Brave Words. You have all, you have been good to me. I will do everything I can to be good to you. Oh, it just brings... I mean, I don't know. It brings back such fond memories of uh, Tokyo. I miss Tokyo. I miss that uh, little ramen shop across from uh, across from the hotel that I ate at on a base uh, on a near daily basis. I even miss the uh, 7-Eleven that was uh, down the street that had such amazing funness in it. Andrew, how are you doing? Oh my dude, tired. I have managed to uh, manage to put in an average, not not counting today yet, uh, eleven and a half hours a day per day for the last. Uh, Two weeks, you know, three weeks, and that counts taking two days off. So I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to eat barbecue, and uh, I want to throw some axes at some stuff. But we got some help lined up that uh, may alle alleviate my like whining, uh, whining baby ass. I can get back to, to doing what I do best. You know, little, little to nothing. You done anything interesting lately, Andrew? 
Well, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I say late. What interesting thing have you done lately? Because that, that's more the question to ask. Because you're always doing something hella fun and hella sweet. Honestly, may have to see what they've, uh, what Mike has got in, in the form of 2015 uh, Draft Asia hanging around. I mean, if it was a hot case, my goodness, we could do some fire with it. I do have one, you know, I don't know, I'll, I'll ask, I mean, the, the folks that maybe have uh, children out here, and perhaps, I mean, I guess, you know, maybe more importantly, girls. We have an appointment on Monday with the doctor to get the baby a flu shot. I mean, that's like, a, you know, like she, you know, she gotta get a flu shot, that's like just, like, a done situation, but... We also have like a tentative appointment to get her ears pierced. And I am like really on the fence right now about whether or not to like go through with getting her ears pierced. Like I I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stand like the screaming and the, and the crying is going to come from a like cosmetic kind of thing that we're going to do. Anybody uh, done that with their uh, with their babies? I know a lot of Spanish people here have it done in the hospital, but we we you know, we we wasn't about that. And like I don't know, the lady is like kind of into it because she had like a very miserable experience getting hers done when she was like much older. I only ever had my my tongue pierced. I mean, and that was like a, I mean, an adult choice. Like, I, I knew that I was going to be unpleasant for a little bit. All right, no. Man, Andrew, I don't. I mean, I, I mean, I'm here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the for like super infants, yes. Like, I mean, super infants, Spanish wise, is like a hospital situation. But I am, I am. What I'm under, what I am being told, it is that is that it is like more common to have it done like under like the you know under like. The age of one, because she's not gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember it forever. But you know, it's like, does she is, is she gonna want it later? I don't know. I'm not. Ugh. It's it's so terrible because she's she's such a happy baby. Such a happy baby. Never, almost never mad. Upset when she's hungry. The only time, like she, the only time she gets like wicked pissed is if she's in the car and she ain't and she ain't liking it. And then then she like scream and cry. And we've been in the car. Then she else I can do but just continue to drive and tell her I'm gonna get you where I need you get get you to go as soon as possible. 
but like self-inflicting like something unnecessary on her is, is what is like driving me to like I don't know I mean we have the appointment Monday either way but it's like what do we bail on it or not is the is the question I mean she's still so tiny she got, she got like little, you know, little tiny ears. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And like, my doctor doesn't even do it. He says, like, I mean, he, well, he doesn't give shots anyway. Like, he has like nurses give shots because he says he doesn't want to hear the babies cry. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, my sister had, like, a miserable time of it. I know she was, like, I don't know, 13, 12, 13 when she got it done. I mean, she had to, like, fight my mom to even get it done. Then it got, like, infected. The wife had a terrible time. Like, she almost didn't even get the second one done after they did the first one because it was, like, so bad. And so, like, she still remembers it poorly. I mean, like I, I, you know, since I since I never had it, since I never had, we've never been in a situation. It's hard for me to, to say. Again, like tongue piercing is the only thing I ever had done, and like I knew that was going to be unpleasant. But I was, you know, eighteen and had, had made, had, you know, had just made that decision. If they had, to, if I had two tongues and they had to pierce a second one after the first one, I would have only had one pierced tongue. So God, I don't know. I just, I, just, I don't know. See, I mean, I mean that's, I mean, and I, my gut's not, I don't, my gut's not even telling me anything. I don't even know. I don't even know. I keep hoping the wife is going to make, like, you know, make a decision. Oh, I, I had it pierced for, I don't know, ten years. Well, no, twenty. No, no, I, I had it pierced for almost four, uh -huh. fourteen. I'm trying to, no, I had, well, what the hell did I have done? I had to have some kind of surgery, but I don't remember what the surgery was now. I mean, the, I think the only surgery I had was the, was my, uh, no, I mean, it had to have been before that. Oh, when, my, when I broke my leg, that's what it was, when I broke my leg. So I, so I had it pierced for like 15 years. Gabbers, I'm refunding those spots. They they were going absolutely nowhere. I have a list. I, I thought I asked somebody to do it earlier. If it, if it hasn't been done, then I will make sure that it gets done today. But no, five and six were go, were it just looked like they were going nowhere. So I'm gonna ref, I'm gonna refund them both. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. It just it was dragging ass. It didn't look like it was gonna happen anytime soon. I didn't want to hang on to somebody's money forever. But I did ask some people to do it. If they didn't do it, I'm gonna I will double check and uh, and uh, make sure that make sure that it gets done right after this if it hasn't been done. But yeah, the only the only reason I, I took the ear the, took the tongue piercing out was because when because when I had had to have the uh, my leg fixed. You had to take it out, and then like I couldn't get it back in. Like it, it healed too quickly for me to get it put back in after the uh, after the leg. I mean, it was useless. Like I mean, it, it, there was no point in it. I mean, I should. I mean, I should get my tongue pierced. Nothing else, just to stop eating for a a week or so. All right, what do we got? 
We got some chromes. We got some papers. We got some inserts. It's all the same. It's a refractor for Courtney Hawkins. Do you know? Do you guys have, have any idea how many Aaron Judge paper base cards I threw away in Tokyo? It had to have been hundreds, absolutely hundreds. A uh, Jabavi blue. Yeah, the Spectre has been nice, Gebers. If I if I am saying your not your name right, Jeebers. It's either Gebers or Jeebers, probably. From what I am hearing, Spectre has been uh, has been hot fire. A Supac refractor. A uh, Brecken Williams refractor. Yeah, no, and, and uh, I feel, I mean, I feel bad for those people, kind of, uh, Roman cons, because the, the, the back end of it, I just left it all. The last day, a Jaeger uh, Rusconi refractor. I was so hung over. So hung over. Like, I just did not even think that I could exist. Hey, that's eh, not a refractor. That I took every bit of, like, change that I had. Mm, that might be a, a, a Josh Naylor refractor. A uh, Derek Hill to uh, 4 dollars And I just poured it out on the bed. Cody Jones blue and just said take it now I mean you know that might sound like you know uh, you know ridiculous but I mean change there was like dollars too like a uh, says Pookie refractor like you know I think up to like I don't know, I know I mean for me for me I mean if it, my money at the time like a like a three dollar like three dollars like one of these like one of these coins. I mean, so I, I mean, I left the lady fifty bucks, probably, if if not more, for my for the hot mess that I left her. A uh, daily owner fractor. Uh, Austin Smith refractor. But yeah, I just I you know I, I I dipped, I dipped. I was done. I had enough of it. Wanted no more and left. Because the trash bags you had to pay for. Like it's not it's not like here where you just like throw like all your all your mess like in a in in a box you know, in, in a bin, and you're done. They charge you like per trash bag for your trash, like as a like, as a as a trash tax kind of. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, and I, and I and I, I I mean I I like the idea kind of. So I mean, if you want to leave trash out for them to pick up a uh, Danny Robertson refractor, you got to you know buy the bags and pay the tax to have them throw the tax out. I mean, we pay it in a different way. Like, I mean, I pay it in property taxes. You know, so I mean, it's, I guess it's the same difference, just a different system. And a lard refractor. But I just, oh my God, I, just, I walked out. Derek Hill, uh, Blue. I'm sure those people still, still think about me. 
asking for a, a cart to uh, bring in like just boxes upon boxes of stuff. I mean, it's hauling it every day. I would come in about the same time. Cole Stewart, Cole Stewart Refractor. The taxi would pull up in the back. We'd open up the back of it. I'd ask for the cart. And I would haul up, uh, you know, seven or eight cases of, uh, of cards. A Hermlin Refractor. They never said anything to me because they didn't speak English. So, you know, if they were talking shit about me, I, n I never knew. Never had the Continental Breakfast. An Andrew Benintendi autograph. First Bowman. Nice. Never felt good enough to uh, get up and eat the uh, the fish breakfast that was uh, available to me. <clears throat> Still, though, the uh, best meal that I've ever had, a uh, Matt Cronover. Uh, green for the Nationals. That's a uh, Kobe beef uh, feast that I had by myself. Fanciest restaurant that I've probably ever been in. Sitting solo. I, I, I took my nicest, flattened out the nicest shirt that I had and jeans. And, uh, I mean, best meal I've ever had. They were uh, they were super nice. I don't know, the the I mean the one thing that I wish and supposedly like the other hotel and Alex Reyes that uh, like Bates and uh, Gelf stayed in while they were there. I I got Bijo. I got Bijo purple style for the Astros. Booyah. Like that hotel, which is where like the the bus picked up to take everybody to the uh, to the airport. They spoke English, which would have been nice. Like with me trying to uh, figure out how to get a uh, hundred pounds or uh, like one hundred fifty pounds worth of uh, cards FedExed to uh, the United States. Domite? Goose? Uh, I'm unfamiliar. A uh, Roman Quinn refractor. A Tyler J. For the Twins, not sure how he is doing now, but at the time, that was a huge. Case. This would have been a a, a huge case or a huge half case so far with Ben and Tendy and Jay. Let's continue, shall we? Mm, ain't happen. Call that a refractor. It looks like it. Hey, uh, gold teams of tomorrow for uh, Kyle Freeland and uh, Brennan Rogers.
Okay, Corey Taylor refractor for the Mets. Swanson Refractor. Got the uh, Tanner Rainey to uh, 50 gold style. For the Reds. Paper. Not chrome, just so you know. Chris Ellis uh, Blue. Sky Blue. Unnumbered. Dylan Moore, Sky Blue. The uh, Justin Jacome Refractor. Cody Ponce for the Brew Crew. With that sweet, sweet stash. Only a true pitcher with excellent control could could uh, handle such a stash. A Spencer Adams refractor. I got to get better lighting in this place, man. Willie Calhoun refractor. A uh, Matt Cronover green paper for the Nationals. Riley or Bailey a falter in blue. Dude, is I mean is Bowman just like a uh, like a sleeping pill for people? A Carl Wise refractor, or do you just see me start this and you're like, oh hell no, I'm out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see any, any more of this garbage. But it's not garbage, it's amazing hotness. Which is the which is the which is the tr which is the troublesome part. Nick Gordon refractor. Whatever happened to Nick Gordon? Uh, Cole Tucker. I'm gonna have to look him up. He used to be like what summer? What summer for to his fancy Lucas Sands refractor? I don't know. 
Andrew Moore refractor. I'm gonna call it refractor, but it's little, maybe not. Hunter Harvey blue paper for the uh, Orhi holes. A Zach Irwin purple for the White Sox chrome style. Tyler Alexander refractor. It's a uh, Tyler Mark Sky Blue for the uh, Diamondbacks. Oh, the Kyle Tucker. Blue David Dahl for the Rockies. A uh, Hutton Moyer, sky blue. Yeah, Franklin Barreto refractor. Avery Romero refractor. A Scott Kingry. Autograph for the Phillies. Took a couple of good autographs out of this. A uh, Poteet refractor. Matt Olson Refractor. All right, Uno Stack Moss. Then we see like where we can go with uh, what we got. A uh, Mundell Refractor. A uh, Cronworth refractor for the Rays. It's a uh, John Harris refractor for the Blue Haas. It's a uh, okay, hey, 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 Tom to a four ninety nine. A uh, McMahon sky blue. Uh, Devers, Sky Blue. Blake Perkins, I'm going to call it a refractor. Uh, Ryan Helsley, refractor. Andrew Moore, blue or purple. I know it's only one more, but it's getting a little bit too high for my comfort level. Last one, fire action. Let's go. Hey, Peter Lambert, for the Rockies. Autograph. A uh, Mariano Rivera, the third, I think, refractor. Third junior. One of the two. A uh, Jordan Lara refractor.
All right, autographs. All right, Andrew. A uh, Peter Lambert for the Rockies. A uh, Scott Kangry for the Phillies. A Cody Ponce for the Brewers. A Tyler J for the Twins. A Connor Biggio purple for the Astros. And a very nice Benintendi for the Red Sox. Thank you, everybody. We'll get a shout out to you.